right, 4.1, apply triangle sum properties. I think all of you guys already know what a triangle is. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. And this is my little symbol for triangle, okay? Interior angles are angles inside a polygon or a triangle or whatever figure you're, look you're looking at, okay? So for example, in this triangle, angles one, two, and three are all interior angles. Exterior angles, when you extend the lines of a particular polygon, the exterior angles will, f will form linear pairs with the interior angles. So for example, over here, angles four, five, and six are exterior angles. They're outside the, tr the polygon, or in this case, it's a triangle. All right, a corollary, a corollary to a theorem is a statement that can be proved easily using the theorem. Generally, a corollary is an extension of a particular theorem or a special case of a, of a certain theorem. All right, um, some different kinds of triangles. Classifying triangles by sides. A scalene triangle has no congruent sides. An isosceles triangle has at least two congruent sides. And an equilateral triangle has three, con three congruent sides, all congruent sides. When classifying uh, triangles by angles, an acute triangle has three acute angles. All of the angles are acute. A right triangle has one right angle. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. An equiangular triangle has three congruent angles, all congruent angles. All right, let's go on to page two. Uh, I apologize, the diagram got cut off. Let me see if I can draw in what's missing. This is a seven. This is a seven. Okay, classify the triangular shape of the shuffleboard scoring area in the diagram by its sides and by measuring its angles. Okay, the triangle has a pair of congruent sides. Notice that this side is congruent to this side um, as signified by this little dash. So it is isosceles. Okay. Now, um, I'll just tell you this. If you were to take a protractor and measure all three of these angles, you would see that this one is 72 degrees. This one is 72 degrees, and this one is 36 degrees. Okay, I'll write that down here. All of these are um, acute angles. They're all less than 90, so it is an acute isosceles triangle. Okay. All right. I'll let you guys do this one. Example two, classify triangle RST by its sides, then determine if the triangle is a right triangle. Okay, I'm going to draw in the part that got cut off. Oop. This is S and this Let's see here, it's 5, 2, and then T, 3, negative 1. Okay, so first thing we need to do, we need to use the distance formula to figure out how long these sides are. Let's take a look at RT, that's this side here. Remember, this is the distance formula, we're going to be looking at our X's first. We've got negative 3 minus 3 squared, 3 minus negative 1 squared. This minus negative becomes a positive. They don't really give much room, so let me do it over here. 3, let's see here, RT. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 squared, and this is 4 squared. 36 plus 16. This will give you, let's see here, square root of 52. 
Let me pull out the calculator. Seven point two one about. And you know what? Actually, we don't even need to put in decimal form. It doesn't say to, so we'll just leave it in terms of uh, leave it as a square root. Okay, RS, that's this side here. We've got negative 3 minus 5, 3 minus 2, both of these squared. I'll do this over here. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8, so I've got negative 8 squared. Um, 3 minus 2 is 1, so I've got 1 squared. This is 64 plus 1. Square root of 65. Alright, and the last one I'm going to put up here because I ran out of room. ST, that's this side here. I've got 5 minus 3 squared and 2 minus negative 1 squared. And once again, the minus negative becomes a positive. So 5 minus 3 is 2. Um, 2 plus 1 is 3, so I've got 4 plus 9, which is root 13. Okay, so already we can kind of tell because all three sides are different lengths, it's going to be a scalene triangle. Now let's take, let, now let's look for right angles. We can kind of see that this one is not a right angle, and hopefully, I think we can kind of see that this one's not a right angle either. This is the only one that looks like it might be a right angle. Okay, the slope of RT, um, if we use these two points, the rise, the Y values, negative 1 minus 3, over the run, the X values, 3 minus negative 3, this minus negative becomes a positive. Um, negative, th negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, 3 plus 3 is 6. Um, this is, uh, let me leave a little bit more space here. Negative 4 over 6, which becomes negative 2 over 3. Okay, the slope of ST, um, let's see here. The y's would be 2 minus negative 1. The x's would be 5 minus 3. Becomes positive. So I've got 3 over 2 positive. So notice that this and this are opposite reciprocals. So we know that this is going to be a right angle. And the product of the slopes is negative 1. They're opposite reciprocals of each other, so uh, they're perpendicular and angle RST, I'm sorry, RTS is a right angle. Okay, so because of that right angle and because all three sides are different lengths, triangle RST is a right scalene triangle. Alright, let's go on to page 3. Okay, theorem 4.1, triangle sum theorem. This is actually a really important theorem. We're going to be using this a lot. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Memorize this one, okay? This will be coming up a lot. So, in this case, any triangle, absolutely any triangle, all three of the angles, if you add them together, it, it will equal 180 degrees. Okay? Um, the exterior angle theorem, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. Now remember, adjacent means attached. It means it shares a side. So non-adjacent is just the opposite. So for example, in this case, angle 1, the two non-adjacent side, I'm sorry, the non-adjacent interior angles would be 
this one and this one, A and B. C is the adjacent angle. These two are non-adjacent. This angle is equal to the sum of these two. All right. Find angle measure. Use the diagram at the right to find the measure of angle DCB. Okay, now, as you know, as we just learned, this angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So if I add these two angles together, I'm going to get this angle here. So 3x minus 9 equals 73 plus x. Now, if we go about solving for x, it doesn't really give you a lot of room. Nah. Um, if I subtract x from both sides, I'm going to get 2x minus 9 equals 73. If I add 9 to both sides, 2x equals 82. Divided by 2, x equals 41. Okay, but we're not done yet. They don't ask for x, they ask for the measure of dcb. So we've got to plug it in. I'm going to substitute 41 for x and 3x minus 9 to find the measure of uh, D angle dcb. So when I plug this in, I get 3 times 41 minus 9. If you can do that in your head, great. If not, no worries. 41 times 3, 123 minus 9. 114. So the measure of angle DCB is 114 degrees. Okay, a corollary to the triangle sum theorem. The acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Which makes sense because if all of these angles add up to 180, and this angle is 90, obviously these two have to add up to 90 to make all the angles add up to 180. Okay, so as you can, you can kind of tell that this is an extension of the triangle sum theorem. So, 90 degrees. All right, last page. Example four, I apologize once again that it got cut off, but you should be able to see it fine in your notes. The front, uh, the front face of the wheelchair ramp shown forms a right triangle. The measure of one acute angle um, in the triangle is eight times the measure of the other. Put that over here. Find the measure of each acute angle. Okay, so this is what we have. We have this diagram this angle is labeled x degrees, okay, and this is 8x. Um, it says first sketch the diagram, which they've ni they're nice enough to do it for you. The larger angle is 8 times the smaller angle. Now, we know that all the angles add up to 180, and this angle we already know is 90 degrees because of the little box. So in order to add up to 180, if this is 90, these two have to add up to 90 also because 90 plus 90 is 180. So, x plus 8x, these two angles, have to add up to 90 degrees. I'm going to add a step in here. x plus 8x is 9x. If you divide by 9, x equals 10. So, the measures of the acute angles are 10 degrees, and the other one is 8 times that, so it must be 80 degrees. Alright, checkpoint. I'm going to let you guys do these, and that's all for today.